Hi, my name is Tess and I'm from Austin, Texas. And as of today, I'm 21. And when I think about my path and what's led me to want to spend some of my summer with you all as an intern, I'm reminded of a story of myself at eight years old that kind of sets the trajectory for my path so far. And when I was little, more than anything, I wanted to be a rancher which I grew up in the city, didn't really make sense. And no one in my family is in agriculture or ranching. So everyone would just kind of laugh and shake their head, think it was a phase that I would grow out of. But no, here I am at 21 and I still wanna be a rancher. Um, I couldn't afford a horse, which was my dream. It still is my dream to have one of my own one day. And so instead I went to the tax store, saved up all my money and bought myself my very own lead rope and halter. And because I didn't grow up with it and it wasn't all around me, I had to really work to get my time around horses. I learned to muck stalls. I watched other people's lessons. I pretty much did anything I could. And although my dream of horses is still childlike and pure in some ways, it's also grown up with me. It's led me on some of the biggest adventures of my life. It took me to Denmark, where I did 11 hours a day of manual labor in the cold, living on my own in a foreign country in exchange for some dressage lessons. And it was amazing. I learned so much. I was immersed into a whole other culture of equestrians and equine care. I learned about barn management and horse supplements. I found myself in Southern California working with studio horses on set, which was totally nuts and way different than anything I thought I would do. And it's led me back home to Austin, um, where I now teach at the barn that I grew up at. And it's, there's nothing like the feeling of watching a little kid get the hang of their posting trot, truly. But it's not just the horses for me. It's this desire to be a part of something bigger, to feel that connection that I feel when I'm on the horse, when we are moving together and thinking together. It's meditative for me. And I think that there's a way to live like that. And it's a way of living that's more in touch with nature. And I think that that's what you all are doing at Alder Spring Ranch. I think that you all are listening. You all are taking in the quiet you all are looking at the world around you and saying, no, I'm gonna do it different. And I'm really inspired by that. And I wanna be a part of that change. And I hope to one day have my own ranch where there's quiet and horses and listening and regrowing together in community.